just arrived in Budapest and we have a night bus that leaves tonight for Poland. So we have just 12 hours to see the city. 12 hours in Budapest starts now. Go. So we're at Zoska Cafe starting off our day right with some coffee, fruit, yogurt, and muesli. I walked all the way down the street before realizing this place doesn't sell ice cream. For a local shopping experience, you can hit up the central market next to the river. It's also a good place to grab a quick bite to eat. So we bought a book of 10 tickets to get around today, but you can see some of them are cut differently. Some are really big and some are really thin, and only the thin ones actually fit in the validators. These big, thick ones don't fit. May I help you? Yeah, I think it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit it doesn't because fit. it's not the proper cut from the machine. <laughs> This is the size that they should have. Seriously. You've done this before. With some time to kill in the afternoon, we decided to head to the Pinball Museum. We were only here for a little bit, but you could easily spend hours here. This is Tales of Arabian Nights, and it is apparently the number nine rated pinball machine of all time. But it should be number one. It's the best. Next up was a quick stop at St. Stephen's Basilica named after the first king of Hungary. You could pay a small fee to head up to the dome for a panoramic view of the city like Karen did, but I have a drone. Time for dinner, so we've come to the Jewish Quarter, which is on the Pest side, and it's filled with great restaurants. Tonight, we've opted for some traditional Hungarian. What did you order for us to eat? Hungarian pancakes, vegetarian for Brian, and chicken. So usually it's done with veal, but Brian's not eating meat, so this is a vegetarian version. It's literally fancy pancakes filled with mushrooms. Chicken and some potato dumplings in a zucchini and tomato sauce. Super tasty. If cheap eats are more your style, you can pick up street food just around the corner at the caravan. So this is langosh. It's a traditional Hungarian dish. It's essentially a heart attack on a plate or on a piece of paper here. It's dough, cheese, and sour cream. And that's all. It tastes like a cheesy donut. After the sun goes down, you'll want to come to the river and just at least walk around. There's lots of great bars and restaurants, but most importantly, the bridges and the buildings are all lit up, as you can see behind me, and it's just amazing. liquid meal you're craving and you have to check out one of Budapest's ruin bars which are these abandoned buildings that have been turned into clubs and bars and have been decorated with pretty much anything.
Thanks Budapest, it's been a blast, but our time is up. We have a date with an overnight bus to Poland now. Is it cold in Poland? I don't think so, but it's summer.